trying to get gigs in this day and age I mean we're, we're standing behind your van and I do have to point that out where you've got Sid you've got the clash you've got stiff little fingers we don't like any of them obviously we don't, no we don't they, no them. you don't like that stuff no no that's just shit that is it yeah. he don't I don't <laughs> <laughs> he speaks for himself like you know um so, so getting so gigs uh, no yeah there's always uh, gigs to be done it's, it's, you know. there's always gigs it's i think we've for the last 15 years we've lived by the motto we'll do what we want when we want and how we fucking want yeah. and if people don't like it don't fucking listen to us we don't give a fuck yeah. well, that's uh, punk and it, i was gonna say that, that is punk. punk yeah then fuck it yeah. Yeah. yeah punk is what we are i mean just being honest to yourself and being honest to the band in your case just doing what you want and doing what feels good. I think there's a lot of judgmental going on in the punk scene, and there has been for quite some time. Yeah, punk police. Yeah, punk police are fucking been going. I mean, we wrote that on the Scum album, you know what I mean? Punk police. But, I mean, everybody's got their opinions, and everybody's entitled to their opinions. And that's it, full stop. Yeah. You don't have to force that on anybody else, do you? Exactly. Just ignore what you don't like, like what you like, and go with it. Yeah. If you don't like it, move on. Exactly, exactly. I see a lot of bands that maybe I'm not so keen on. I can respect their musicianship, Correct. but I don't necessarily like what they do. And well, it like spans all genres. Like, you know? Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, you know, um, the punk police, like, they're, they're fucking different altogether, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, and they don't necessarily like you liking other kinds of music because like it's not fucking, punk. You know, they're like, they, <laughs> they got the views and they, they, they fucking sour everything, don't they? They, yeah. sit at, they sit at the backyard, they stand at the back, pontificating, fucking telling people what's good and what's fucking crap. It's, I mean. easy, it's easy to slag people off, but it's a lot harder to get out there and fucking do it, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. You don't do that, do they? You know what I mean? They just sit there fucking typing the shit on Facebook, their shit, or fucking their shit, sprouting it off, you know what I mean? But yeah, you tell you what, if you can do it, money, you? you get on fucking stage and you do it. Yeah. And tell you what, we'll not sit and fucking judge you. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. What's next for Abrasive Wheels then? New album. I, I said that without moving my lips. Look how fucking quick you am. <laughs> how fucking quick are you? New album. I did it again. Well, that's, that's that, not including. We have a tour in October in yeah. Europe. Uh -huh. We're doing some dates in Germany, some dates in Czech, uh, date in Czech Republic, then we're going to Athens and uh, a couple of shows in Greece. November, we're out to Philadelphia and New York. Uh, but in Cardiff as well. Can't forget fucking Wales. Oh, well, yeah. Nope, nope. Wales like is the forgotten Wales. area. We yeah. like our Wales. We love our Wales, in fact. We do. We're okay. going to change our name to the yes. Abrasive Wales. Abrasive Wales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Abrasive <laughs> Wales, <laughs> then. <laughs> I'm going to add... Fucking first. That's a rat, bitch. <laughs> fucking away you go. All right, I'll ask you the question I ask every band I interviewed that's from Wales. There's a train station in Wales with the sign that's like that long. Abergavenny. <laughs> Fucking hell. It ends in go, go, go. Oh, well, we, all, we know that last bit, but not... Hey-ho. You know. Yeah. Go, go, go. Hey-ho. Let's go, go, go. Hey-ho. Go. Go, go, golf. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah golf. It's go, actually go, golf. more golf. Yeah. All right. I have to be impressed that somebody not from Wales got that far with it because nobody could pronounce that name except a Welsh person. So I'm impressed with that. My wife's actually Welsh by birth. I love you. It's true. Can she say it's that? True. Can she say that it's name? True. Well, no, because she was brought up in fucking England, but she was fucking Welsh by birth. <laughs> You'll have her sitting there studying that for the next time she's asked. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to have to fucking divorce her and get a new model. 
someone from Scotland probably or Ireland. Ireland, yeah. Ireland, Ireland, yeah. Yeah. We don't mind a bit of Irish. Yeah, we'll, nice we'll have there. some Irish. Yeah. We've got some nice bands in Ireland as well. Definitely, definitely, nice. some good stuff. Not that many. Yeah. Book, good lad. Um, um, but you're recording a new album. Uh, what's the name of it going to be? Do you know yet? Can't tell yet, but we do know what it's going to be called. Yeah. State secret. Uh, not a state uh, state secret, but it is a little <laughs> bit of a secret. It's an abrasive wheel secret. Yeah, you right, won't tell yeah, me. I can't tell you. I'd have to kill you if I, if I told you. <gasps> he can't tell me. Definitely cannot tell me. Yeah. No, you'll all know soon enough, like. But we're about halfway through it. Um, yeah. We're not going to rush it, but. Uh, it's sounding good and we, we're recording it in um we're recording it in Stoke and Trent yeah, not, not too far on real a real old vinyl yeah, on, on, uh, on old tape on, as well oh uh, brilliant oh, yeah. love it better sound that way much more yeah, full yeah, sound yeah, yeah. yeah. I love sound going the old got, school yeah. way you've got to get the take right and if you don't get the take right you're fucked yeah. it's not like Pro Tools or all that yeah, yeah you can't but, just yeah mush can't with it and just patch and paste yeah exactly exactly which is a shame when you're at, when you when you're Chris Bertram, <laughs> especially with the shuns of vocals, because he likes doing things in parts. I go, um, I'll, I'll drop in on that next bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> and when can we expect this untitled album to next come year. out? Next year, uh, I think. Uh, I would think probably summer. Summer. Yeah, next year. summer hope, hoping, but we're notoriously very slow writers. Um, well, uh, we probably write quick, but uh, it's getting together and actually doing it. You yeah, it's know, getting it out yeah. and getting it yeah. finalised. Coming together and then we working work. as a team. But yeah. we write quickly, but actually putting it all together and recording it, it's yeah. it's pretty difficult. I mean, we're all pretty busy. We we don't do this like full time. So yeah. yeah, you've got proper jobs along yeah. with your love, Families your passion. Well, yeah. We've got families. We've we've all got commitments. commitments. We we, yeah. do, we do it because we love it. Yeah. That's it. And enjoy it. And enjoy it, yeah. Want to do it. Want to do it. Want to do it, love it, enjoy it. Yeah. We'll cover it all. Yeah. And I think that's the best reason to be doing a band, to be in punk, because you love it. Well, yeah, yeah. because you're not going to get fuck all out of it any other way. You're not going to make uh, money out of it. No money in it. No. No. It's, and that's the passion that comes out. You can see that when you guys are on stage, you're enjoying yourselves, and that's key to being a good band. That and plays that is transparent. And I want to thank you guys very much for speaking with us on our NPRV and looking forward to seeing you guys next. Enjoy your tours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is NPRV News. It's tying it off. Now fuck off. <laughs>